Family, friends, and community members gathering this evening to pray for the recovery of a seven-year-old boy shot on the south side Monday. As Aiden Garrett sustained critical injuries when he was struck by gunfire coming from outside. WGN's Dana Rebick has the latest update. Earlier tonight, Zayden Garrett made it out of surgery. Doctors were able to remove most of a bullet in one of his lungs, but there are some fragments left. His family gathered outside the hospital to pray for his recovery and make a plea to the public to come forward with information. On that Monday night, all my grandson was doing was waiting for his piece to come home. And instead, he ended up on the floor. Seven-year-old Zayden Garrett, shot in the back and grazed in the head, has been on a ventilator and sedated at Comer Children's Hospital since late Monday, undergoing another operation this afternoon. This is the second surgery. The first surgery went very good. They was able to stop the bleeding, all of that. So today, the surgery is about getting the bullet removed and a speedy recovery home. I'm just trying to honestly stay sane. Stay, I, just, I just need strength. I just need genuine, real love and support. His family has been by his bedside since he was rushed to Comer Children's Hospital Monday night. Just after 9 p.m., Chicago police say more than 20 rounds were fired from the street into the home at 116th and South Yale in West Pullman, the gunman in a white Audi sedan. You could see several bullet holes in the front of the home. Also shot Zayden Garrett's 27 year old uncle hit in the chest and arm. My son, he's fine. Everything is good. And his main concern right now is the recovery for Zayden. The second grader who loves Spider-Man and playing with his twin brother, Xavion, was looking forward to being a Ninja Turtle for Halloween. As he continues on his road to recovery, his family and crisis responders making a plea for information to help detectives solve this case. We got these criminals that are out there just, they're feral. They're out there just shooting wildly and not taking any responsibility for what they've been doing, nor the people that are with them doing it. Uh, it seems they have no conscience and this is the part that we have a hard time with. Turn yourself in, whoever he is, make him turn himself in. This young man did not need this. Seven years old, he's supposed to be at school, you know, coming home, getting on our nerves. <laughs> but instead, he's up here and we're down here trying to find justice for him. There is a $2,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. At Comer Children's Hospital, Dana Rebic, WGN News.